covering election 2020, Florida's primary is still a couple weeks away, but early voting begins this week for most counties in Northeast Florida. Joining me now to break down important information for local voters here in Duval County is the Duval County Supervisor of Elections, Mike Hogan. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Thank you, Jennifer, for helping us get the word out. We're always happy to help. This is an important topic for a lot of people and for people who do want to participate in early voting. What are the most important things that they need to know these next few weeks? Well, the next few weeks we'll be uh, holding our early voting. It starts on tomorrow morning at, eight, at uh, excuse me, at 10 o'clock and runs each day to 6 o'clock. Uh, it'll run all the way through the 15th and then you'll have one day off and then election day on the 17th. When they get there, they need to have identification not only a picture identification, but a signature identification. And of course, the best thing is a Florida driver's license or a Florida ID card. And it is important to note that there are some precinct changes. People should have that information or where can they look to find it? Okay. Yes, they should have that information already. We have about 12, I think, uh, precinct changes. Uh, folks uh, move away, uh, pastors move away, and no longer does that church uh, operate as a precinct. Uh, so we, this is t typical. We always expect this. And uh, yes, they can go to our website and uh, my voter status is the, on the front page or the home page and then go right to uh, directly to their precinct. This is a closed primary. For those people who aren't familiar what that means, explain that a little bit. A closed primary basically means that only the parties that are, have candidates, only their voters can vote and they can only vote for their, their party. So we have a Republican ballot, this, this uh, primary, and we have a Rep uh, Democrat ballot. And uh, the independents, uh, those that are not, that didn't choose a party, or libertarians or any other party, uh, will not be able to vote in the PPP. And as we look ahead to the primary, what is the voter turnout expected to be like at this point? Well, the overall turnout, we're looking at 42 to 46 percent. Now that's low, we don't like those numbers, but of course, 143,000 are not going to be able to vote because they're not a Republican or a Democrat. So that moves that number up a little bit. Probably 40% will vote during, um, of that number uh, during early voting. And what options are available for vote by mail? Uh, still can call and still can receive a vote by mail ballot. Uh, we need a signature if you're going to send that ballot to a, sig to a uh, address other than the address on record. Uh, and those can get out in three to five days. Great. All very important information. Thank you yes. so much for being here this morning. For more information on the voting process and for important dates for counties in northeast Florida and southeast Georgia, head to our website, newsforjacks.com. You will also find an interactive map, map there and a link to a sample ballot.